Welcome to another video, a walk on the wild side, and I am here in a very sunny Blackpool. Check out the light from the sun this morning. It's around about half past nine and the sun is just starting to get going here in Blackpool. I can feel the heat, even in the middle of October, but I am stood in the middle of Blackpool's single biggest parking lot. Had to get that in. <laughs> it goes back to my trip to America. But anyway, yeah, this is the Blackpool South car park. It is absolutely huge. It can take a thousand cars. And you see Blackpool Tower over there. Check it out, Blackpool Tower. But anyway, the reason I'm here is because I filmed a video here last night, which got banned. I'll talk to you about it after this. Check out that autumn sunshine in Blackpool as we look down the main road there, Yeadon Way. That goes on to the old railway embankment and takes you out of Blackpool. But I'll just give you a look around this car park here. This can take about a thousand cars. It is absolutely huge. We're looking towards the north now, the tower. You might be able to see the football ground there. Let's just zoom in a bit, there you go. Look at these blue skies, aren't they awesome? Anyway, you might be able to see that there's quite a bit of rubbish lying around. <laughs> well, there was a pretty big event on here last night. There was a massive car meet. They all met up here before doing a, a convoy along the promenade. I know I'm tall, but this is ridiculous. Hello. <laughs> Anyway, before I go any further, I just want to say that this video was not actually banned by YouTube. It was banned by TikTok. Yeah, some of you might know that I've got a TikTok account, a walk on the wild side. I know it's not for everybody, but I created it early this year just to appeal to a new audience. And uh, I can't believe that uh, they banned the video that I did here last night. Now, I have had a video banned on YouTube earlier this year. You might be aware that I did a video down in Lytham. I was speaking to some people that had views outside of the mainstream, and I'll just let them talk. And one of them apparently said something about medical misinformation, and uh, my video got back. Oh, by the way, that video, you can see it on Rumble. If you want to see that video, the, the Lytham video that got banned, you can see it on Rumble. I'll put a link to the video in the description to this one if you want to check it out. But anyway, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about what happened last night. Yeah, so I was here last night and I kind of stumbled on it actually. I was out doing some videos. In fact, I filmed a video in here yesterday that's going to go out later this week and it's a video about the posh streets of Blackpool. And I started the video right here yesterday about four o'clock when it was light. But when I came round later on, I came back this way, down Waterloo Road. I heard all this popping sound and noise and all sorts of stuff. And I thought, I wonder what's going on. I thought it was fireworks going on because I didn't know anything about this car meet. But when I got down to the bridge over there, the railway bridge, the old railway bridge, I, uh, I saw this car park here absolutely chocker with pimped up cars, performance cars. It was honestly, this car park was full. And I say this car park can take up to a thousand cars. I'm telling you, it was filled all the way from there, right up there, Waterloo Road, all the way, right up to the very far end, right up there, Lytham Road, where the Lytham Road bridge is. It was absolutely huge. And what I thought I'd do is I didn't film, I didn't intend to film a video for the main channel. So what I did was I thought, well, I'll just do a members video because I've got a members channel. Um, so I thought, well, I'll do a video for members. I'll just show them all the cars and everything. And I was walking around here. And honestly, it, it was actually quite hard to walk around because there were so many cars, people doing burnouts and wheel spins. And, and they were doing like a little convoy. And the idea was to come out of it and then they'd go and do a, a convoy along Blackpool Promenade. Some of you might have seen it last night. 
I don't know how many cars there were, but honestly, there must have been there must have been the better part of a thousand because, like I say, this car park takes up, up to a thousand cars, and it literally filled the car park. So um, I haven't put the video on the members yet, but what I did do is I decided because I've got a TikTok account. I don't know if you know, but I'm on TikTok. Um, I actually started TikTok back in 2019. It was one of the early. Um, then I created another account. I created an account for this channel. It's just to appeal to a different audience, really. I know a lot of you don't like TikTok, and I understand that, but I like to put some stuff on there that's, uh, that's uh, a bit better than the usual, because you get some rubbish on there, don't you? <laughs> oh, God. But anyway, I filmed a TikTok video. I thought, well, I'll, I'll do something for TikTok. Yeah, so it was all going on here last night in the Blackpool South car park for this extreme BHP car meet. I filmed uh, a video that they did before a couple of years ago and that was along the promenade. They did a big convoy along the promenade and they were doing naughty stuff. There was some naughty stuff going on, no doubt about it. There was people wheel spinning, they were doing burnouts and that sort of thing. Quite a bit of naughtiness going on, but the event passed without any trouble and I didn't see any police whatsoever. But anyway, I decided to put this video on TikTok. I'm also going to make a YouTube short out of it, but I'll put the full video on the members section. So any members of my channel on the Golden Mile will get to see it. So anyway, but I was really surprised that TikTok, because um, TikTok I thought was a platform that allowed quite a lot of stuff that YouTube didn't. I wouldn't have been surprised maybe if YouTube had a little go at it because, you know, but even YouTube, I mean, you know, I mean, you see so much stuff on YouTube, so much naughty stuff, you know, illegal behavior, people doing wheelies down the road and, and wheelie motorbikes and, and, you know, all the staff burnouts and, and donuts and drifting around roundabouts and all that sort. Well, there was a little bit of that. There wasn't any drifting going on or anything like that. There's just really burnouts and a lot of smoke and a lot of exhaust. Honestly, my clothes absolutely stank when I got back home. <laughs> I had to change my clothes. But anyway, I'm just going to put this uh, picture on the screen. This is what I got. I cannot believe I got this one, TikTok. This video, video removed. This video violates our community guidelines. I didn't even read the community. Who reads the community guidelines on TikTok? I don't even read them on YouTube. You received a warning for your first violation. The next violation will result in a strike. Uh, and down here, violation reasons, dangerous activities and challenges. Most activities or challenges are, appro are appropriate for everyone, but some carry a, a risk of significant injury. We do not allow showing or promoting dangerous activities and challenges. This includes dares, games, tricks, inappropriate use of dangerous tools, eating substances, I mean, God, how many people eat loads of burgers on TikTok for a challenge? I did, well, I didn't do it on TikTok, I did it on YouTube, but the one pound burger, I did the wild side burger, didn't I? Eating substances that are harmful to one's health or similar activities, which may lead to significant physical harm. See community guidelines. So there you go, that's, I got a warning from TikTok. I cannot believe it, just for showing a few kids in cars doing, doing wheel spins and popping exhausts and um, generally, yeah, acting a little bit naughty, I will admit that, yeah. But the young, aren't they? And this event was absolutely massive. It is so popular, like I say. You might have been in Blackpool last night, Sunday, Sunday the 13th, and if you saw all those cars, they all met right here. This is where they all met. They had stalls, they had a the couple of burger bars. It was so big, this event. They had marshals on, they had tow trucks, just in case anyone broke down, and... It was marshalled, it's a proper event, it was set up, there was no police, I didn't see any police anywhere. And like I say, I think the whole event, as far as I know, passed without any trouble. Anyway, so there you go, I got banned by TikTok. I'm going to do my best to see if I can upload it again. I'll try and upload it again. And if you, hopefully, there might be a short video on here of the event as well. If, if I get, I'll put it on, the, on a, a YouTube short for you. To, to get a look at it because it was just so big I thought I've got to film this I mean this is absolutely huge but uh, anyway um, I'll just see if I can I can re-upload it I suppose uh, but I don't know um, I don't want to cut any out because it, I think it was quite exciting it was an exciting video actually and I don't really want to cut any of it out but uh, I'll see what I can do on that anyway let's take a little look around here and see what uh, a, a mess they've left Check out all this rubbish here. Look, right next to the bin as well. There's no excuse for that. Come on. 
So that wasn't the only naughtiness going on, right, driving all these cars last night. They were leaving all this rubbish as well. Here's a quick look at the prices if you're interested in parking here. You can see that on the video I did here. Look out for the swanky streets of South Shore Blackpool later on this week. But I suppose really when you think about it, the amount of people that were here last night, the amount of cars, there must have been twice the amount of people as cars. I reckon there was about a thousand cars, honestly, I'm not joking. But when you look around here, you can see there's quite a lot of rubbish around strewn all over, but it's not as bad as what you might expect, really. I can't believe that blue sky. But look at this car park, though. It just goes all the way around. It goes right up to there, right up to the Lytham Road Bridge. If you park right up that end, it's a lot, it's a lot easier to get to the Pleasure Beach, by the way, if you ever park here. But I'll tell you what, you don't really have much problem parking in here. <laughs> There was a car last night that had F.U. Greta on the back of it. And I tell you what, she wouldn't like to see this wagon here now. <laughs> Look at that there. It's just started that wagon up there. It's uh, like a crane. It's got all the smoke coming off it. Wow. I think it must be broken down or something. Anyway, I'll leave it there for now. I'll do my best to see if I can get the video uploaded as a short. Hopefully YouTube won't ban it and I'll see if I can get it back on uh, TikTok again. And if you remember, you'll get to see the, uh, the full video. So that's it for this video. I was banned by TikTok. I can't believe it. I thought TikTok were... I just had the funny feeling, because they're Chinese, aren't they? I didn't think that they were really bothered about people being naughty. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, anyway, that's it for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one. I think I might go sunbathing later.